For USCFSales.com, I'm Steve Lopez with another Fritz tip for you. We've been looking at ways to get a good competitive game out of Fritz without getting killed by the software. For Grandmasters, for Masters, you can play Fritz at full strength and get a competitive game. For those of us who are down here in the fish pond and put our pants on one leg at a time in the morning, <coughs> excuse me, uh, it's too much for us. You'll you'll be destroyed game after game, and there's nothing more demoralizing than that. So what we're looking at is ways to make the program play at a competitive level where we get a good game without getting destroyed. For those of us who are the average club player, back in the 1800s, one way to handicap a game was to give odds, odds games. You'll see it today occasionally. For example, when I'm teaching a beginner how to play chess, the first time we sit down to play, I will offer queen odds. I'll take my queen off the board and we'll have a game. And I did this with my children when I taught them to play. When they got good enough that they were beating me pretty easily and regularly with giving them queen odds, then I would give them rook odds. And when they got good at that, I would instead give them knight odds. And that's basically a, a way to handicap a game. The better player plays with less material, and that way the weaker player gets a competitive game without being destroyed. Well, you can do this in Fritz. Actually, there were quite a few people that were doing this with the software, but they'd have to set up a position to do it using the position setup dialog. And the programmers very nicely uh, put some presets in here for us, and I'll show those to you in a moment. But back in the 1800s, odds games were a regular thing. Paul Morphy, a lot of his great games that we see in, in the books and in databases, are odds games where one of the pieces is off the board for white at the beginning of the game. Or you might give somebody pawn and move was another thing, where you take a pawn off and, and give them an extra move at the beginning of the game. You'll see that here if you click on the training menu and go here and see handicap position. Click on it and it will bring up a dialog in which you can set up different kinds of handicaps. For example, if you want Fritz to give you a knight handicap, click OK. And now you would hit the space bar to have Fritz make the first move. But you're playing with a full set of pieces here. Fritz would be playing missing a knight. Come here. Oh, let's say pawn odds. Same story now. Uh, traditionally, it could be any pawn, but traditionally, the bishop pawn on F2 would be the one that white would remove. Again, if you go back and look at a lot of 1800s games, you'll see this. Today, a lot of people would not dream of offering a player odds or accepting odds. We live in a more egalitarian society today, I guess, in which people don't like to play odds games anymore. But for many years, this was a very, very uh, popular way of playing. If you had a player like a Staunton, or a Steinitz, or a Morphy, or an Adolf Anderson, who is an acknowledged master, they would give the weaker player, just the average Joe, and you know odds like this. Some of them are kind of interesting. There's uh, F7 pawn and two moves. Well, let's make it three moves. F7 pawn and three moves, click OK. And what happens is you'll be playing white, and what Fritz has done is removed its F7 pawn and given you three a three-move advantage. The two center pawns, and now you get to pick the third move, and uh, you can play from this point. So that's a way to get a handicap game from the software, of course the popular queen odds I was just referring to, where Fritz will take white, remove its queen, and have you play black. That's typically how I would do with a student. Would be I would take white so I would have the first move. A lot of students don't like to make the first move either. So you would have the first move with your queen off the board. So that's how you have a handicap game against Fritz. This is especially good for beginning players. I talked to a fellow on the phone the other day who's played in one tournament, and he ended up with a rating of a, a USCF tournament with a rating of about 900. And he just doesn't understand tactics very well. This is all by his own admission. He told me he doesn't understand tactics. He doesn't know the openings. The best way for this guy to learn to play would be just to play a lot of chess, and a way for him to do that without getting necessarily destroyed by the software would be to play as black against Fritz in a queen odds game like this. If, again, if I'm teaching a, a young kid to play, this is exactly how we play the first game. I'd have white with the queen off the board, and they would have a full set of black pieces, and that's how we would play the game. By the way, this is a computer software program. This is not another human being. 
So there is no shame here. There's no embarrassment here. You're sitting there with your computer. You can play the game at whatever level you want to play it at. No one's going to know but you and your PC. So don't be embarrassed or ashamed or afraid to use these easier modes up here in the training level section. By the way, we will look at a couple more of them here uh, in the next couple of videos. Don't be embarrassed or ashamed to use them. That's, they're there for a reason. They're there for you to use to help you become a better player. And you don't get better by getting killed game after game after game after game. And that's something that a computer at full strength will invariably do. Unless you're very lucky or unless you know the various anti-computer techniques that you can use to beat a computer and honestly if you can do that you probably don't need the handicap position anyway you've been around the block a couple times you know a little bit about chess but unless you know the tricks if you're just going to play a straight up game against a computer you're probably not going to win particularly if you're a beginner or a club level player even so that's why dialogues like handicap position are here in the software for you to set up different handicap games to play against the computer so you get a decent game without getting destroyed time and time and time again. For USCFSales.com, I'm Steve Lopez. Thank you for watching.